Hi, welcome back. This is Kristen on our journey through the Bible, one chapter at a time. We are doing little bite-sized pieces, just one chapter, about five, ten minutes long. So that way, if you are like me, I like to sit with my coffee in the morning and listen to some daily devotionals and things and get started with the Word of God. So it is... Um, really simple and easy and if you want to read through with me i'm in the new king james version so those are the words i'm reading or att attempting to some of those names um yeah i try my best that's all i can say <laughs> pray for me all right so we're in exodus we're almost done with exodus now already so what over 80 chapters or so now but um we're going to be getting in to leviticus next so very soon Thanks so much for being on this journey with me. It has been so wonderful. I'm really enjoying this. And we are almost done with building the tabernacle. So let's jump right into chapter 39 of Exodus. Of the blue, purple, and scarlet thread, they made garments of ministry for ministering in the holy place and made the holy garments for Aaron as the Lord had commanded Moses. He made the ephod of gold, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and of fine woven linen. And they beat the gold into thin sheets and cut it into threads. And they worked it into the blue, purple, and scarlet thread and fine linen into artistic designs. They made shoulder straps for it to couple it together. It was coupled together at its two edges. And the intricately woven band of his ephod that was on it was of the same workmanship, woven gold, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and of fine woven linen, as the Lord had commanded Moses. And they set the onyx stones enclosed in settings of gold. They were engraved as signets are engraved with the same names of the sons of Israel. He put them on the shoulders of the ephod as memorial stones for the sons of Israel, as the Lord had commanded Moses. And he made the breastplate artistically woven like the workmanship of the ephod of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet thread, and a fine woven linen. And they made the breastplate square by doubling it. A span was its length, and a span its width when doubled, and they set it in four rows of stones, a row with a sardius, a topaz, and an emerald was the first row, the second row, a turquoise, sapphire, and a diamond, the third row, a jacinth, an agate, turquoise, or excuse me, and an amethyst, and the fourth row, a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper. They were enclosed <clears throat> excuse me, in settings of gold in their mountings. There were 12 stones according to the names of the sons of Israel, according to their names, engraved like a signet, each one with its own name according to the 12 tribes. And they made the chains for the breastplate at the ends, like braided cords of pure gold. Wow. They also made two settings of gold and two gold rings and put the two rings on the two ends of the breastplate. And they put the two braided chains of gold in the two rings on the ends of the breastplate. The two ends of the two braided chains, they fastened in the two settings and put them on the shoulder straps of the ephod in the front. And they made the two rings of gold and put them on the two ends of the breastplate on the edge of it, which was on the inward side of the ephod. They made two other gold rings and put them on the two shoulder straps underneath the ephod towards its front, right at the seam above the intricately woven band of the ephod. And they bound the breastplate by means of its rings to the rings of the ephod with a blue cord so that it would be above the intricately woven band of the ephod and that the breastplate would not come loose from the ephod as the Lord had commanded Moses. And he made the robe 
of the ephod of woven work, all of blue, and there was an opening in the middle of the robe, like the opening in a coat of mail, with a woven binding all around the opening so that it would not tear. And they made on the hem of the robe pomegranates of blue, purple, and scarlet, and of fine woven linen. And they made bells of pure gold and put the bells between the pomegranates on the hem of the robe all around between the pomegranates. A bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate all around the hem of the robe to minister in as the Lord had commanded Moses. They made tunics artistically woven of fine linen for Aaron and his sons, a turban of fine linen, exquisite hats of fine linen, short trousers of fine woven linen, and a sash of fine woven linen with blue, purple, and scarlet thread made by a weaver as the Lord had commanded Moses. And then they made the plate of the holy crown of pure gold and wrote on it an inscription like the engraving of the signet, holiness to the Lord. And they tied it to a blue cord to fasten it above on the turban as the Lord had commanded Moses. Thus, all the work of the tabernacle of the tent of meeting was finished. And the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord had commanded Moses. So they did. And they brought the tabernacle to Moses, the tent and all its furnishings, its clasps, its boards, its bars, its pillars, and its sockets, the covering of the ram skins dyed red, the covering of badger skins, and the veil of the covering, the ark of the testimony with its poles, and the mercy seat, the table, all its utensils, and the showbread, the pure gold lampstand with its lamps, the lamps set in order, all its utensils, and the oil for light, the gold altar, the anointing oil, and the sweet incense, the screen for the tabernacle door, the bronze altar, its grate of bronze, its poles, and all its utensils, the laver with its base, the hangings of the court, its pillars, and its sockets, the screen for the court gate, its cords, and its pegs, all the utensils for the service of the tabernacle, for the tent of meeting, and garments of ministry to minister in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest and his son's garments to minister as priests. According to all the Lord had commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did all the work. Then Moses looked over all the work and indeed they had done it as the Lord commanded. Just so they had done it and Moses blessed them. That was a lot of work. Oh my goodness. I Now I'm really able to just picture it in my mind. Um, it must have been amazing. Just amazing to see it. Oh my goodness. Well, chapter 40 of Exodus tomorrow. Well, honestly, I may not make it tomorrow because I'm going to help some people up north from some flooding disaster that happened. So, but tomorrow is Exodus 40 and it is the last chapter of Exodus. So come on back and I will try for tomorrow, but if not the next chapter, I will do, I really want to finish this too. So I'm going to try and get back and do it tomorrow evening, but we will see. So I wish me well and just say a prayer for all those people in need from the storm disasters up north um, by the Canadian border here in Washington. But thanks again for coming. Talk to you soon. God bless.